Good evening once again. The retrial of Buffalo Police Officer Corey Krug is now underway here in the Queen City. That's because the original jury could not reach a verdict on the charge connected to this video. It is video you've only seen here on 7 Eyewitness News. It was shot early on Thanksgiving morning on Chippewa Street downtown in 2014. Tonight our reporter Ala Araby has more on what happened in court today. Day one of the retrial of Buffalo Police Officer Corey Krug began Wednesday. The focus, this video shot by a former WKBW photographer. Judge Richard Akara has already dismissed one juror out of 16 for not following instructions and forming an opinion before hearing all the evidence. Before the one juror was dismissed at the end of the day, the 16-member jury, nine women and seven men, sat in court and listened to Krug's defense lawyer, Terry Connors, as he talked about the dangers and difficulties a police officer faces at work. He said on November 26, 2014, the streets and bars were crowded and several other fights were happening. And that night, he said there were several confrontations between Devin Ford, his friends, and Krug. They were asked to leave, but they came back and Krug held up a nightstick or baton to keep them away. Connor says that's when Ford grabbed the baton and they wrestled. He said any officer knows they should never let go of the nightstick because it can be used against them or on others. That's when Krug pushed Ford onto the car and hit him with the baton. Part-time Erie County law enforcement trainer Patrick Mann testified that Krug completed his use of force training in March 2004. Former 7 Eyewitness News photographer Jim Herr testified and said the video he shot at the time was going to run as a 30-second voiceover for the morning show. The prosecution then reviewed all the videos shot during the early morning hours of November 26, 2014. The retrial is expected to continue tomorrow. In Buffalo, Ala Arby, 7 Eyewitness News.